March in memory of Lauren Smith Fields. She died after meeting a man on a dating app. Her family says Bridgeport police botching the response. Frank Recchia broke the story and files this report. I just want to thank God for letting us all be here. On a cold winter day, but under a clear blue sky, we want justice for everybody. Hundreds of people gather in front of the Bridgeport Police Department, including the family of 23 year old Lauren Smith Fields, a name you first heard on News 12 Connecticut December 22nd when we broke the story, telling the world for the first time about her untimely death two weeks before Christmas. We are doing this for long. We're doing this for justice. We're doing this for every black girl that ever been harmed, that ever been in danger. Moments later, the growing crowd hit the streets. Passing the old city hall, then stopping for a moment on top of the historic Broad Street steps. I just wanted to stop and let everybody take a look at what nice looks like in America now. Let's keep going. Then the now surging crowd continued the march down Broad Street. On the way to the Margaret E. Morton Government Center. Once marchers arrived at 999 Broad Street, the crowd formed a semicircle surrounding Lauren's family, who were assembled behind a banner bearing her image. I just want everybody to know I love my daughter. And we need justice, we need answers. The family alleges an inadequate response by the Bridgeport Police Department after Lauren died in her apartment following a meeting with an older man arranged on the dating app Bumble. They say the department's handling of the case has been racially insensitive and they're suing, but keeping the focus on Lauren. Since she passed, this case has been covered 24 hours, seven days a week as a testimony to how vibrant and important she was. Family and supporters pausing to thank News 12 Connecticut thank you, Fred. for getting Lauren's story out to the world. And now it's gone viral. Today would have been Lauren's 24th birthday. Her model-like image now the face of an emotionally charged call for justice. It is not natural for any mother or father to bury their 23-year-old child. As her family, supporters, and the media focus now on what will happen next, loved ones say whatever that is, they will be heard and shown respect. She was in college, hey. and she has family hey. and friends that love her. Amen. No one is going to discard Lauren Smithfield's my daughter as she's rubbish. Hey. Happy birthday, Lauren! In Bridgeport, Frank Recchia, News 12, Connecticut. The city officials not commenting on the march. They have said the initial investigation is under review by the police department's command staff. We're still waiting on the medical examiner to release a cause of death.